scary thought losing control of your car, especially to somebody else. But a new FBI report says as cars get more high tech, they also become more vulnerable to hackers. News 12's Kelly Wiley joins us live now. And Kelly, walk us through this. How exactly are hackers gaining access to our vehicles now? Well, probably through all the things that you like best about your car, Meredith, like the GPS that you use every day, connecting your phone to Bluetooth, the Wi-Fi. That's how these hackers are gaining control. Researchers tested it out, and at low speeds, they were able to shut down the engine, disable brakes, and manipulate steering. At any speed, they were able to unlock the doors, change turn signals, change your GPS or the radio. And the group potentially at risk, as you can imagine, is pretty large. The FBI says, one and a half million vehicles were recalled after this discovery. One particular dealer, Chrysler, also mailed a software update to better protect vehicles from hacking. And another thing to minimize your threat, one thing that you're going to want to do is make sure all the software in your car, just like you would for your computer, is up to date. That's going to be essential, making sure you have the update software to protect yourself. And you can do this by going on the manufacturer's website. Don't just go on Google and type this in because some hackers are targeting those websites too to get you to have that malware almost in your car. And if you're uncomfortable with, with changing it yourself, you can just go to your dealer to change that software. Probably a good bet to have the experts take a look at it. Sometimes you don't want to leave yourself vulnerable. Now, Kelly, what if you think you've already been hacked? What do you even begin to do then? I know this is just such a new thing for people to even wrap their heads around. But like I said, the first thing you're going to want to do is immediately check for recalls and for software updates. That might be the first clue that maybe you didn't have the update software or you didn't know there was a problem to begin with. Second thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to call your manufacturer. You're going to want to call them on the phone or maybe they have a reporting site and you're going to want to let them know the problems that you're experiencing. Maybe they can help you troubleshoot on their end. Last, you're going to want to report the more people we can have report what's going on, the better information they can have to get the problem under control. You can report that to the FBI or you can report that to your to the highway safety website and we'll have that all posted on our website, WRDW.com.